Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh Ellsworth, and we're coming to you live here on Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern, and I'm excited to be broadcasting to you. I'm filling in for Jenna this week. She covered me last week when I had a conflict. She's enjoying vacation this week, so you talked to Kelly uh, earlier, a couple days back, and I'll be filling her slot this week, and uh, we'll go from there. And so today, we're going to be talking about all different types of looks that you can create with just a heat press. So um, I've pulled, I don't know, maybe about a dozen uh, different samples, uh, samples and positioned a garment rack beside me. Uh, so we can go through some different things that you can create. Uh, they're already created, but uh, hopefully that can inspire you and give you an idea uh, because I know sometimes uh, that's what you need, just that look to kind of spark the interest. Uh, one of my favorite things that I see at trade shows is we have our booth and we have all these garments uh, filtered throughout and I mean, we see customers that will spend hours inside of our trade show booth just going through the different garments, uh, touching and feeling, which we won't be able to do today, but I'll try to explain and at least show it through the camera uh, to inspire you and, and help you think about a material, a market, a garment, an opportunity that maybe you haven't thought of before um, that will get you in gear and get you growing your sales here as we approach uh, the fall season. Hard to believe we're already through uh, summer almost, coming up into the fall winter season. And this will kind of launch us into some of those looks. Most of these looks are for uh, fall, winter. Uh, the heat press that I'll be working with today, because we are going to heat press just a couple looks together and, and talk about some materials, is our A to Z heat press. I'm in my office here at the uh, Stalls TV studio. And so I have that set up just on my uh, desk. It's just me here today. So I'll get to spend some good time with you guys. We'll go through some projects. Uh, talk about different ink formulas from Transfer Express, looks you can create with heat transfer vinyl. Uh, the key to this is all you need is a heat press to create these looks. And I'm going to explain to you how that is even possible. If you have a vinyl cutter, you're going to get some uh, bonus capability or printer cutter. You're going to get even more bonus capability to uh, manufacture the looks yourself. But the reality is everything I'm going to show you here today, you can order as what I call broadly a transfer. Uh, some from Transfer Express, from some from stalls, but all ready to apply. So you just have to press it on the garment. So that's why I always say invest in the best heat press possible. Um, yes, I know a large percent of the, the market right now is uh, using an iron. Uh, some of you are using an economy grade heat press. It perhaps was purchased off of Amazon or eBay or something like that. Uh, some of those are okay, but the majority are not. And that's the sad reality. They don't deliver accurate time, temperature, and pressure. And so all the work that you can create is going to go out the door. It's going to look great probably. And then when it's laundered, you're going to have some issues. And so we want to protect the name of heat printing, the integrity of the looks we can create now, because it can be super professional, super nice, super durable, uh, but you have to have an accurate heat press. Uh, that's why we came out with this A to Z heat press. It's a $699 price point. So for us, we call that uh, economy. I know for some of you that that necessarily isn't economy, but it's it's for US manufacturing for the quality that we're delivering to make sure you have accuracy, time, temperature, and pressure. That's the lowest price point we can get to. And I think if you're realistic about it and you can sell some of these looks, you can generate your return on that investment in 50 to 100 shirts. And so if you think about that, how long will it take you to sell 50 or 100 shirts at around $7 profit each, you can generate a return on this pretty quick and have it paid off and be ready to go. So appreciate you, um, everybody saying hello today. So good to see uh, Lorena. Um, good to see uh, Pedro, thanks for joining. We will have somebody reach out to you, um, see your comment there. So we'll reach out to you separate. Um, good to see you, uh, Sharon from Cleveland. Um, let's see, Mike, I know you've been joined waiting for us to broadcast live. So we have quite a few folks watching on YouTube and I would encourage comments today. If you have questions about these products, um, I think we'll have plenty of time to go through everything and uh, make sure you ask your questions. So I always like to start with a project. And so let's turn it towards the heat press and bring you in a little bit closer here and have you take a look at this machine and some transfers that we're going to create together. So again, this is the A to Z heat press. It's available uh, right now on pre-order from stalls, we have started shipping the units and we have been shipping the units. So some of you may have already received yours. If not, I know we're shipping out um, a fair amount of units every single day. So we're getting through the list pretty quickly. The wait time 
Uh, if you place your order today, I would estimate is about 30 days uh, until your unit ships out. If you've been waiting more than 30 days, know we're getting to your name quickly. Pick up your phone, look, check your email, make sure we can get a hold of you um, so we can get your credit card information and process your machine out. But this is a swing away press, which is great because it gives me a completely heat free workspace. Um, it is a 15 by 15 inch uh, print surface. And I'm just going to spend a few moments walking through a couple different ink formulas in the category of screen printed transfers. And so uh, let's see where we want to start here. Let's um, I'm going to start with uh, Goof Proof. It's our most popular ink formula. I'm going to take just this uh, Gildan T-shirt. It's a large size and just load it onto the press. There's a couple ways you can load your press when you're working with the A to Z press and pressing T-shirts. One is you can just lay the T-shirt on top as long as it's a large enough size so you're getting rid of all of your seams and everything. Or two is you can actually uh, split that shirt and we call it threading. That's what I typically prefer to do. Open it up and thread it over the bottom platen. Uh, screen printing style is what some people call that. And so you're load loading the shirt upside down um, to be able to do your placement. Load it either way, that's fine. As long as you have a completely flat surface with no seams or anything like that, uh, you'll be good to go. Now, first shirt off of the press, um, we always recommend to preheat. Preheat that first shirt a little longer to warm up that bottom platen so you're gonna get good adhesion, uh, design after design. I'm just gonna give this a 10 second preheat since it's my first shirt off of the press. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, screen printed transfers here. Screen printed transfer, you pay by the sheet. You can gang up a bunch of designs um, on a sheet. As we start to think about sales opportunities uh, for your heat press right now, guys, I know sports are tough in some places. Um, spirit wear is tough in some places right now, although I know some people are doing it and still doing it well. Uh, but something that hasn't stopped is uh, causes. And so when you think of raising money for a cause, um, I really want you to consider that market with your heat press. This particular design, you'll see it better after I press it, um, says the third annual drive for a cure. Um, and it's a F-O-R-E like four, like we're golfing and it has a little golf, uh, golf ball uh, clip art in the middle. I know personally, um, I've still been golfing here in Pennsylvania. And I've been to uh, two uh, in the last month to uh, golf charity events. And there's always a lot of merchandise being given away uh, through those events. A lot of times you will see uh, sponsorships. Uh, sometimes if you have a printer cutter, you can do those sponsorships where you're doing the signs for the tee box and work with the event organizers. But t-shirts are another great way. So whether those are t-shirts just for the folks working the event, uh, typically they have them positioned around the course and maybe serving a lunch or a dinner afterwards, or for all the attendees, maybe they get a free t-shirt when they register for the event. Um, so consider that, and it's a way to drive awareness for a cause. As we move on to October, of course, we start to think of uh, breast cancer awareness uh, month and we see pink start to pop up a lot. And so that's the idea here. So I'm gonna position this transfer down. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to, to look at the uh, top shoulder of the collar, I'm pinching that, and I'm gonna run that about seven inches down and I'm gonna center my design off of the top shoulder. Start to go too far off the edge, you get an under the arm print, too far to the center, it's really not a left chest print. So I'm aiming for a left chest print about seven inches down, to, depending on the size of the shirt, to the center of my design. And then I'm going to uh, just center my design off of pinching top shoulder. That's how you get a nice left chest placement. Make sure all of my ink is uh, on the pressing area and the surface. And with Goof Proof, when we press this down, uh, depending on the number of uh, colors and whether you have a backing color, we're looking at about four to six seconds uh, for the application. You open the press, swing it away, and then you peel, okay? And so it's that easy. All of the ink with our Goof Proof formula, which is the most popular, should transfer off of the paper so you see nothing uh, left behind other than just a very um, sort of ghost image of where the print was. Um, and then we'll remove the shirt and we'll take a look at it and give you an up close look. So you can see we get great uh, coverage on that print. That's the cool thing about Goof Proof. It is plastisol ink, it's screen printing. Uh, white stays white on this and you get really good whites and, and pinks and coverage. So you're not going to get any show through from the garment. So goof proof, 
uh, one of our most popular things. And yes, it is easy to social distance on the course, especially when you hit the ball like me, you're usually far away from everybody else. So I just took golf back up about three months ago with all this going on. It was a way to get out um, and actually do something each week. So I know a lot of others are doing that as well. So that's, a, I think, a growing market right now, those types of sports that we can still get out and do. Um, but that's goof proof. OK, um, now there is another transfer type I want to talk to you about that's similar to goof proof. It's called hot split. And I've already trimmed one uh, just because I wanted to verify my assumption that this transfer was hot split. I pulled it out of a sample box here and it was. I tested that in advance, but that's what you're seeing here. Um, hot split. The difference is you're not getting this um, powdery adhesive on the back. So on goof proof, there's like a powdered adhesive. You can almost hear that grit to it and feel that um, on your fingers. We powder it after it's been printed. With hot split, you're literally just getting the ink on the paper. Okay. So just two different choices, both from Transfer Express. Group up all your designs onto the transfer sheet. You can upload your own artwork to Transfer Express. Or you can go into what's called the Easy View Designer once you create an account. And there are literally thousands of layouts and clip arts that you can work from. So you don't have to be a graphic artist to order transfers. Um, upload your customer's artwork. Transfer Express will take it from there. You don't need to vectorize it or anything like that. It's the same price. Or design in our uh, designer. So I always tell people, you know, when they're saying, what's the advantage of Transfer Express? Well, the advantage is we're your, we are your art department. So don't waste the time vectorizing the artwork or uh, converting the artwork for the customer. Just upload it to Transfer Express. Let us do the work for you. It's the same price. You get the transfer. You sign off on a proof. It's ready to go. Um, or use our designer with all the templates and clip art. So this is a concept for auto repair uh, and service. And we see a, a text-heavy design, a lot of detail. Certainly, if you're familiar with vinyl cutting, nothing you would ever want to uh, cut and weed on your vinyl cutter, at least at any quantity. And hot split, um, what I like about hot split is it feels super soft and really nice uh, on the garment because you don't have that adhesive. So you get a softer feel, um, but what you trade off for this softer feel is you trade off the opacity a bit. Now, we're not going to care. We're not going to notice any difference on this shirt. Uh, hopefully you know why. It's because we have black ink on a white shirt. So we're never going to have issues with the shirt color showing through the ink because the ink's darker than the shirt. Now, if this were white ink on a black shirt, then we would get a little bit of show through from the black. It's not going to look terrible, but it's just going to look, I would say, actually a little bit more on trend with what you're seeing in retail stores for t-shirt prints. Um, just a little bit of show through. Um, so you want to consider that actually maybe the look you're after to get that super soft feel of screen printed transfer. So I'm gonna position this down onto the shirt. I'm printing the full front. And so we're just gonna position this into place, uh, right side up, Transfer Express has the grid lines on the paper. And then hot split presses at 360 degrees for eight to 10 seconds. And the sheet size for both goof proof and hot split, uh, question from Daniel there, is 11 and a quarter by 14. Um, you heard it beep when it's finished. Hot split, as the name implies, you're going to release it hot. And notice on this one, all of the ink comes away, but I'm definitely seeing more of the ink left behind on the paper. That's an easy way to confirm it's hot split. Now, if you have like little dabs of ink um, left behind on the paper, then you know you didn't heat apply it long enough with enough heat. Um, so you, you don't want actual pure black ink on this paper. You just want to see kind of a shadow of the color that you use and it sticks to the shirt and it feels uh, great. So screen printed transfers has to be one of the easiest print technologies to just use your heat press. So I wanted you to have, a, have an idea and a feel for the, the two most popular, um, I shouldn't say most popular, but the two common screen printed transfers that you wanna use on your uh, cotton t-shirts. Now, notice that both of these are applying up at 360 degrees, right? So you want to be careful that you don't have a heat sensitive uh, garment that you're pressing because although it'll stick to polyester, not all polyesters can handle 360 degrees of heat for the 10 seconds like we just did. So be careful about that. Uh, we are going to get into some transfer types that'll press onto those more heat sensitive fabrics later. Just to give you a couple names of those, one is called Elastiprints. 
Um, another one is called Ultra Color Soft, and Ultra Color Soft has some other advantages. So we're going to spend some time on that here in a bit. All right. Um, I'm going to take a couple questions to make sure I don't lose anybody. I'm from the Northeast, so I tend to talk a little bit quick here. Um, so Lorena asks, when do you recommend to use uh, the cover sheet? And so really the cover sheet, um, like a cover sheet like craft paper or Teflon or whatever cover sheet you're using, uh, you never use that on a screen printed transfer unless it's ultra color. And the application sheet will call specifically out when you need to use the cover sheet when you're using screen printed transfers. Now, when I'm using heat transfer vinyl, which we're gonna get into a lot of looks here in a moment with heat transfer vinyl, I almost always use uh, the cover sheet because um, when you're layering heat transfer vinyl, you know, sometimes you have that vinyl directly exposed to the heater. If you don't use a cover sheet, some vinyls will stick to your heater, um, especially if your heater isn't Teflon coated, it's, it's silver and not black, you're gonna have some issues. So I, I always say, always use the cover sheet, except when you're printing screen printed transfers. All right, um, let's see, some questions coming out. Um, I don't know the answer to this one, but maybe somebody watching from our Transfer Express team knows the answer on when our 2021 marketing kit is going to come out. But I wanted to make sure I pop that question here from Dale because uh, that marketing kit is one of the top tools that you can buy as a decorator. Uh, in that kit, you're going to get not only a binder uh, with your name on it, with all the different uh, layouts and designs, but you're also gonna get uh, a color selector chart of all the inks. You're gonna get some wall graphics with the application settings, some marketing materials and posters. Um, and also one of my favorite things you get in there is what's called display transfers or samples. Get about 20 to 30 sample transfers with a bunch of different designs that you can apply that help you reach different markets. And yes, we can't meet with people like we used to, but you can certainly decorate with those, get to know them, take photos and use that in your marketing online. So still, a lot of uh, a lot of value in that. All right, let me make sure I'm not leaving anybody behind. Um, how do you know how much pressure you need? And again, the transfer is going to call for the pressure. Um, again, this is an economy heat press, so while you can adjust pressure, it does not read pressure, and that's pretty typical of economy heat presses. And so you have to do the pressure uh, based on how it feels. Okay. That can be tough for some people. What I really like about this press is to get a heavy pressure, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is turn the knob all the way to the right till it doesn't turn anymore, like it won't turn anymore unless I really jam on it. Um, when I do that, it's gonna make it more difficult to swing. So I turn it till it won't turn anymore. And then I retract it back about a half a turn and that's my firm pressure. And this press is really easy to lock down at a firm pressure. Now, if you can afford um, a higher grade heat press that has a pressure readout, uh, buy one of those uh, because it will give you a digit on our, all of our Hotronics machines of what the pressure is when you lock it down. And if, it's, if it calls for a medium to firm pressure, which was the case on both of these applications, I'm going to adjust that knob, lock it down until I get like a seven, eight or nine on the pressure readout for that firm uh, pressure. All right. Appreciate you guys joining. We have uh, Karen joining from the UK. Thanks for watching us today. Um, question on when the A to Z heat press will be in Canada. I still think we're waiting on some approvals, but we certainly um, want to launch this in Canada and plan to. Um, we're still catching up on all the pre-orders here in the US. Again, we hope to be caught up in about a month, so I would say not too far outside of a, a month or two until we get it uh, going there. Um, and also good to see Darcy from Edmonton uh, this morning. Dennis from Chicago, all kinds of folks joining and saying hello. All right. We're going to uh, switch um, a little bit and we do have a preferred supplier in the UK. It's Target Transfers. It's actually a group stall company. So look them up, Target Transfers. They're usually watching with us as well. And Dimitri, good to see you from Minneapolis as well. And uh, okay, let's move to a couple more looks. So I have a whole rack here of looks that I wanna show you today. So that's gonna be uh, kind of fun. And we're going to press a couple things uh, more here in a bit. Um, just to keep on the screen printed transfer track for a couple shirts, uh, this just gives you a couple concepts. So camps right now, also um, a lot of them are still going on and uh, still popular. So using screen printed transfers, and I really just wanted to show you the fine detail that you can get on something like this. And again, the uh, additional placement. So we did a fake uh, clothing brand name here. So 
when you're doing these screen printed transfer sheets, why not drop your brand and start to create a tag or some branding element that you can put on the shirt, inside of the shirt, uh, so people know who made it uh, whenever it gets delivered uh, to them. Uh, another cool concept on this is anytime you have an annual event uh, and you have repetitive attendees, uh, doing some personalization on back and recognizing uh, them for how often they've been, this, uh, been there, this is completed out of heat transfer vinyl. Uh, here's another cool concept with transfer. So this one actually combines our goof proof with uh, puff. Uh, it's two colors, but they're very light colors. But the white uh, puff is available in white and black. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's actually raised up on the garment. So it adds some texture to it. And puff is one of those materials, uh, one of those transfer types from Transfer Express that, that is on sale uh, right now up until the 31st. And you can see info about that over on transferexpress.com. Uh, another market that I've seen a lot, and we're going to shift into some heat transfer vinyl work right now, is people decorating uh, what is, I'd say, generally referred to as graphic tees um, or even decorating for clothing line. And so one of the top advantages of a heat press is people always used to screen print uh, for their clothing line or direct embroidery with really high end uh, 12 head embroidery machines for the volume. Well, people aren't buying the quantities they used to anymore. Um, especially with the rise in e-commerce versus brick and mortar sales. Yes, it makes sense to stock a bunch of pre-printed shirts in a brick and mortar location. Uh, but when we talk about selling online, there's really no major advantage to pre-printing the shirt. So we're seeing a lot of companies merchandise looks and be able to print those looks on demand when they realize the sale or keep a much lower inventory number of decorated pieces for pick, pack, and ship. And so we're seeing heat printing grow a lot there. So I would encourage you, whether you're fulfilling for your own website, somebody else's website, which is an opportunity, or even an Etsy store, something like that, being able to manufacture on demand um, is also a really cool opportunity and not commit your pieces. So um, we see that in heat transfer vinyl. Now this one says uh, champagne campaign. So we're seeing a lot of just text-based tees. Um, this one's printed on a Bella Canvas shirt um, out of our Ultra Weed. Um, I'm sorry, it's not Ultra Weed. That's Fashion Film Electric uh, in the color Rose Gold. So this is our Fashion Film. We will soon be adding a match to this in Ultra Weed in Rose Gold. It's something we're working on that hasn't come out yet. And so think about uh, graphic tees and very simple base text sayings. Uh, not that I would wear this shirt, but very simple text saying, uh, that's my style and what I like to wear. I don't like anything too crazy. Um, so there's a definite, definite market out there, uh, whether it's in graphic tees for boutique style, streetwear, whatever market it may be. Here is um, another uh, good example. And so think beyond just the standard t-shirt. This is a Burnside garment. I actually think we purchased it uh, from Sanmar. It's like a flannel and you know, we say, uh, in my opinion, we see way too much uh, flannel and buffalo plaid and those sorts of things uh, come fall and winter, but it's going to happen and people love to wear it. And so uh, you can decorate it too. So think outside of the t-shirt, decorate higher end items like this. On this particular thing, we did a concept that would be for a clothing line, undefeated, and we've combined a matte finish material with um, a metallic base material, which is fashion film electric. Um, and actually, we've even added some detailing uh, on the cuffs. So think about the, the detail and uh, what you can do to make that garment more than just a front print. Uh, we've even added it uh, near the button area here. And you may say, well, how did you do that um, over that location? Uh, when you are using heat transfer vinyl, you can use something called a heat printing pillow that allows uh, buttons and seams and zippers to sink down in and allow you to print some of the craziest locations on a garment that you can imagine. Even the collar uh, can be printed with heat transfer vinyl when you combine it with using that pillow so it sinks in and you get the even pressure. So uh, cool opportunity. Um, why we're showing you this now, you need to be merchandising it, right? I don't know any of you shop at Hobby Lobby um, or any home stores, you see the fall stuff is out. Some Christmas stuff is, is even out. Um, so your brain should be thinking um, a few months ahead, at least on the calendar and creating looks you can uh, sell. And the Blank Apparel wholesalers have their fall stuff out now that you can buy samples of. Uh, one more um, sort of in that realm, if I can find it here, is personalization. And so I think personalization uh, 
is still really big. So with back to school, we do have some kids going in person. This is just a initial uh, that's decorated on a backpack. And we've also added some striping here. This is out of our reflective material to give visibility. But the point of this uh, piece that I wanted you to think about is just personalization overall. Yes, we all know names and numbers uh, for sports uniforms is an opportunity uh, with a heat press, certainly one we can do, but think about personalization in other ways. So here is a uh, stocking. So again, Christmas items, what can we uh, source and decorate? How we can, can we find boutique suppliers to allow us to do things like this? This would go like crazy. Um, I'm quite certain of it on your Facebook page. I heard a comment from someone else that decorates uh, little elves around Christmas time. So stuffed animals is another opportunity. Um, this is, that last one was glitter flake. This is another example of personalization using monograms. And it's done with our adhesive and foil. So you can buy the adhesive cut from us. Again, you can upload your artwork and we can cut all of these for you or you can buy the materials to cut them yourself. Um, in this case, we're heat pressing the adhesive down after it's been cut and weeded. And then we are lining strips of heat transfer foil over top. And we have tons of training on our Stalls TV YouTube channel on this. So if you're not subscribed to our Stalls TV YouTube channel, do that. There's thousands of hours of footage. Uh, we've eclipsed over 10 million views on the channel in the last five years. So uh, it's helping a lot of people subscribe and, and get to know it. Here's another concept, whether it's for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatnot, uh, placemats. I thought this one was pretty unique. This is actually a screen printed transfer. But the concept I wanted to point out here is what if we did the eat, drink and be merry part as a screen printed transfer and then did Harris Family Christmas on our vinyl cutter. That would be the most cost effective way and it would make it uh, variable uh, to your client. Uh, the reason why is screen printed transfers, it's screen printing so you have to have a certain quantity. So I'd probably order you know, a couple dozen of the eat, drink and be merry at least. Uh, if, you can, if you think it's gonna be big for you, buy you know, 60 of them, buy 100 of them. And then if you happen to have a vinyl cutter, just cut out of heat transfer film in a matching color or even a complementary color, which is sometimes better so you don't have to have an exact match, um, cut the family name out of it. So think about the ways you can do personalization like that. You can get all kinds of detail and really cool stuff, but you don't have to spend your time weeding and layering all this. It's nuts to, to do that uh, time and time again for quantity. So. Another concept on leveraging personalization coming up. Uh, one more bag full of tricks here uh, in the category of personalization that I want to show you. Uh, if you've watched any of Jenna's videos, you've probably seen these items made, but I think they're really cool because it has a higher perceived value. But handbags, purchase, uh, purses, clutches, uh, we see this from uh, blank wholesale supplier called Wholesale Boutique, and this is their Vivin Lou brand. You have to apply to be a wholesaler, but they have some really cool, uh, they call it vegan leather, you can call it faux leather, whatever you want, but you can customize this stuff with heat transfer vinyl. So in our videos, we show you techniques to not only do it with standard materials, but also uh, glitter. And so monogramming, uh, coming up with stuff um, around the seasons and incorporating clip art, so it's a little more uh, stylized. Um, these are these are personalization sales opportunities. If you want to think about how to decorate these, again, you can watch our videos, but I'll give you the abridged version, the cliff notes here, is that you're going to heat apply the heat transfer film with a thin gray cover pad that we call the flexible application pad. And our folks that are helping with comments, hopefully they can link uh, to it here, but it's, it's a special cover pad that you just put over these heat sensitive fabrics. I use it on these items, faux leather, I use it on uh, footwear is actually where we started uh, with this concept. Um, and that's a way to customize these items with just a heat press. Again, we want to get rid of the zippers, the buckles, the seams. So you're gonna need a fair amount of pillows and pads and little inserts that helps you to raise these print areas to make sure they're flat and even. Otherwise you're going to uh, damage items. Uh, but certainly part of the, um, I read a book and it, I think it'd be a, a good one for you. It's called The Dip uh, by Seth Godin. And uh, basically it, it talks about this gap in uh, people pursuing anything, whether that's apparel decoration or decoration of even an item like this, whether that's uh, a sales career, um, a business, anything like that. And the concept of the book basically says there's this dip um, that people quit in. And 
anything worth doing, you want to be the top one to two percent. Uh, you want to be the best at it. And there's a, a substantial financial advantage to being the best at it. But sometimes you have to fight through that dip and decide whether or not you're going to fight through it or you're going to quit. And the book actually advocates a bit for quitting uh, certain things so you can be the top one to two percent of other things as far as being good at being known for it. So concepts like this, I think that it takes a little bit more uh, technical capability, testing, R&D, and some of the other items that we're going to get to. But once you fight through that, you do the work, you test it yourself, you understand how to master it, you can make a full business. I have zero doubts that you can make a full business out of doing stuff like this, and it can be profitable. So it's all about picking your spots and finding what you're going to invest your time and energy to. Uh, this is just to inspire you with some concepts around it. Um, here's another concept. Again, foil. Uh, this is actually a sublimated bag. So this would bleed through a normal heat transfer vinyl, but foil does a nice job of blocking uh, dye migration uh, from coming through uh, different items. And we see monogramming uh, really big uh, in the South and trending into other parts of the country uh, as well. All right, let me look for some questions. Uh, Jane asks, what vinyl cutter do I have? Uh, actually, it stalls, we sell two. We sell the Roland GS24 and we sell the Graftech CE7000 is the model we're on right now. I personally own the Graftech CE6000 at my home office um, that I've been using for the last few years. Um, I also recently purchased a uh, Silhouette Cameo uh, to get more experience with the desktop cutter and actually set that one up with my daughter and she's working on editing a video of our unboxing and setup experience, which is quite hilarious. So I'm uh, waiting until she gets done with that one. But yeah, I love the Graftech. Um, that is my favorite cutter by far. If you're looking for a professional grade, Graftech CE7000 uh, is going to be the one for you. You also can't go wrong with the Roland cutter, uh, but feature for feature um, on that 24-inch cutter, uh, Graftech is my preference. Um, and what heat transfer vinyl do I recommend? I recommend Stahl's heat transfer vinyl. My new favorite is Ultraweed. Um, there's a lot of choice in heat transfer vinyl. Uh, Ultraweed is our newest low temp uh, material, so it gives you a lot of versatility and can do a lot of things. Um, I think it's a good balanced material that does everything pretty well for you and you're going to like if you want to centralize on one product. If you're looking for the absolute softest product, and I saw that question earlier, matte finish material, um, Premium Plus is another Stahl's heat transfer vinyl. That's going to be the best. Okay, It's going to be softer, more stretchy than Ultraweed. Um, again, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to work with, I think, in the cutting and weeding process, but you put in that work so you can get the absolute softest uh, result. But check out those two, compare them, and I, I feel pretty confident that you'll like one of those. Okay. And the vendor for the bags, uh, again, I saw somebody help me uh, sharing it, but I'm going to go ahead and share their comment if I can find it. Thanks, T. Uh, is Wholesale Boutique, wholesaleboutique.com. Appreciate your help. That's the vendor for. Uh, a lot of nice handbags and more boutique style items that we uh, we partner with. They send us free stuff all the time and take good care, um, take good care of us. All right. Uh, yeah. And silicone dye block is another heat transfer vinyl product that is like a rubbery finish. I won't show that one today, but you know, this shirt is rubbery finish, this Under Armour logo. So you may be familiar with that kind of feel. Um, silicone dye block it also blocks uh, dye migration and bleeding. So it's another product you can use on sublimated goods and it's really nice. Uh, again, from stalls, all the products are from stalls. In case you don't know, I work for stalls. You're watching this on the stalls channels. Um, so I'm going to recommend stall stuff for you and I know you're going to like it. All right, let's keep going through, uh, some additional looks. Um, I think we'll, let's stick with outerwear uh, for a second, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, this is another lesser known material, but one that Again, if you choose to learn and master, I think you can have some really good success. Uh, this is a nylon jacket. It could easily be a polyester jacket. It wouldn't really matter other than the product you're going to use with the adhesive uh, on it. And this product is a heat transfer vinyl. It's called Gorilla Grip 2. Okay. And so the point I wanted to share here is that there's this space for outerwear and really transitional outerwear like this uh, where it's light. Certainly the golf market. Uh, that we talked about earlier. You see a lot of it there uh, with pullovers um, and those sorts of things, lighter weight golf jackets just to protect from the elements. Um, but Gorilla Grip uh, has this special adhesive that applies to nylon. So you can't take your normal heat transfer vinyl and just press it to nylon if you expect it to be laundered and last. 
And so Gorilla Grip, although it's a shorter amount of colors, um, we find that still the majority of sales are in white, black, red, royal, and gold. Um, we have those choices and you can start to decorate nylon very easily with a durable result. Actually, I've applied Gorilla Grip to umbrellas um, and even went as far as cutting apart the umbrella and throwing it through wash cycles to simulate lots of rain. Um, I've applied it to uh, tents uh, and different things like that. So if you're uh, outdoor pop-up tents as well as like camping tents. So if you're looking for something that it just has a super duper adhesive that can uh, really stand up to a lot of these uh, water repellent items, uh, Gorilla Grip is going to be that choice. Now, we will never guarantee it uh, for water repellent items because we can't possibly test all of the waterproof items that are out there on the market. So again, this is going to be order some items, test it yourself. You're going to gain a strategic advantage when you do that testing. You're going to know it works. You're going to have washed it. You're going to have the confidence and it's a really good opportunity uh, for you. Um, and then there's a specific uh, competitive question um, how is our heat transfer vinyl different than Thermoflex specifically for UltraWeed? A um, couple, couple key things. One, you're going to get a better price point. Um, two, you're going to get a lower temp application, 260 degrees uh, on anything that doesn't have 50% or more cotton, 280 degrees even on cotton items. Um, so I would say the low temp, you're going to be able to decorate more fabrics with it. And um, the matte finish is pretty similar. I'd say the weeding experience is pretty similar. I think the ultra weeds a, a bit better. Um, you're going to get a true hot peel, which is really advantageous for layering that I can press just for a couple seconds, hot peel, and then layer the next color and, and a better price. Also, uh, once we come out with neons and some of the metallics, it'll all be one price. We won't charge you more uh, for those colors. So try it. You'll love it. Uh, there's a risk-free trial right now going on our website, stalls.com. Buy it yard. Try it. If you don't like it, uh, return it. We'll give you your full money back. So make up your own mind. We're confident you'll like it or we'll refund you on that one yard cut. All right, let's keep going. Uh, I'm going to stick with outerwear for a second because I have some mixed media stuff that I think is pretty cool. Some of these are old designs, but I pulled them out of the back room uh, because I just love them. And so on this one, this shows you, uh, this is a jacket. I don't know if this jacket is still available, but it was a Port Authority jacket from Sanmar. And just one thing I like about when you buy from an actual blank wholesale supplier, they think about decoration when they make their items. So they have something inside of this called a port pocket. They designed it for embroidery. It tends to work pretty well for our heat presses and heat applying it, where you can unzip these pockets on their jackets and you can actually get inside of the mesh, right? Because sometimes this mesh, uh, it won't necessarily um, impact the adhesion, but it'll print through and you'll see that pattern in the fabric, which you're not going to want. It damages your fabric. So you can split this open and actually slide a pillow or a print pad in between this, or if you have our threadable heat press and our small platen, split that open to get to your print surface. And um, so this is a, a good example of that. And this actually has that, it's tough to see on camera, but th this has the port pocket for the full back where you can zip it all the way across and get completely inside of this uh, back print area uh, to be able to position uh, and place your graphics. So this is, shows your concept um, for uh, fire and rescue. We're getting a nice photo quality image that was created with our CAD prints, which is a digital transfer um, created on a print cut machine. Now, if you have a print cut machine, like a Roland VersaCam or a BN20, any of those units, you can buy our printable media and you can create this yourself. The cool thing about this that I love is not only does it have the full color, but it has the reflective, right? And so we've added 3M reflective on top. So combining uh, full color images with special effect CAD cut materials, and you can think of a lot of uses for that uh, for different market verticals, I think is something really cool. And again, will help you stand out, okay? And so this big coverage area, I would never put this big picture on the front of a t-shirt unless it was an extremely heavyweight t-shirt because that would weigh it down. Uh, but for a jacket or something that's a little bit more rigid in its construction, it looks and it feels great. And nobody's going to notice uh, that big print location, that full coverage uh, on the back of that jacket. Uh, in that same vein, and I see some more questions that I'm going to take them. Um, this just shows you same concept, different market. And so this is uh, artwork, I believe, that was provided from uh, Dane Clement from Great Dane Graphics. He sells artwork, and you can learn more about how to create full color artwork on daneclement.com. Uh, but we've combined this with reflective. And so I love reflective because it reflects that light back to the source um, at the nighttime. And again, this is our 
printable media. This particular one is Express Print, uh, polyester jacket, uh, a red cap jacket, no issues uh, applying uh, to that and creating these looks. All right, um, question is, does your heat press take a lot of electricity to run, especially when it comes to an at-home business? Um, and so the heat presses, I would say, pull 14 and a half amps on average. So we always say dedicate a 20 amp circuit. And I'm gonna save somebody right now and just say, never plug it into a normal household grade extension cord, never plug it into a power strip. That is going to cause issues with heat fluctuation, uh, potentially even with the control board on higher end heat presses. So if that's you, make sure you get a um, thicker gauge uh, extension cord if you need to have the distance or try to get that directly plugged in. And if you can dedicate a 20 amp circuit to it, uh, electricians will understand what that means. Basically nothing else plugged into it, into that circuit, even if it's a different outlet along the wall. If it's a, the same circuit, we wanna dedicate a 20 amp uh, circuit to it. All right, and then thank you for your help. This is DaneClement.com where you can learn about uh, creating the uh, artwork. I'll leave that up for another second. Sorry about that. I'm gonna scroll back and look at more questions. All right, so uh, I am seeing more questions about specific comparisons uh, to uh, brands of heat transfer vinyl. I would just say that um, obviously we think we have the best at stalls. And um, I think that between UltraWeed and Premium Plus, you'll find a uh, good fit. Uh, we lab test our stuff, so I don't wanna get too deep into um, head to head comparisons. I'd rather you guys draw the comparisons yourself. I don't wanna bash any other brands, it's not my intent. Um, so just, just try it. Uh, we have a lot of ways you can do samples over on stalls.com uh, or calling our customer service team at 1-800-4-STALLS and we will uh, take care of you. All right. Um, this is a good question, so I'm going to take this one. When a design, Tommy, thank you. When a design calls for 45 pounds of pressure, how would you know that your if your heat press doesn't have a pressure gauge? Um, so 40 psi or 40 pounds of pressure per square inch um, is what I'm assuming here is about a medium pressure. And so if your heat press doesn't have a pressure gauge, it is going to be difficult. But I've seen all kinds of crazy ways to do this. Um, and I want to dismiss something right now. The dollar bill method uh, makes a big assumption that your heat press heater is completely flat. And what we find on some of the really inexpensive presses out there, their heat press heater is not, and they don't have a high quality pad on the bottom. It's typically a soft density and not a medium uh, density like we use in our manufacturing. So it's a cheaper pad as you might expect on a less expensive heat press. And so that locking a dollar bill down in the four corners of your heat press um, I don't think that's really effective because you're making a big assumption of even pressure. Okay, so here's what I like to say is um, generally most heat presses in the market, you'll be able to get a light pressure um, with two fingers locking the machine down. A medium pressure is going to require one hand with limited leverage and a heavy pressure is going to require either two hands or one hand with more leverage. Reality is we're all built different with different levels of strengths and different points of uh, leverage of where the machine is located. Um, so you're gonna have to feel your way around it, do some testing. I'd recommend do some wash testing to get it right for your machine. Um, if you're having to do crazy things like lay on the press to get good pressure or um, increase your temperature by a ridiculous amount, you probably just need to get a new uh, heat press um, is what I'm going to recommend. So be careful with that. Yep. And Jan went to a 20 amp circuit dedicated and never tripped a breaker now. Yeah, it does work, trust me. So you should be in good shape. All right. <laughs> and here's the background on that. That's kind of funny. I think at least for me, it's funny. Maybe not for your husband. So never plug it into the same 15 amp circuit. Your husband's computer is playing computer games. Yeah, make sure you save your documents if you're trying to push the limits there. All right. Um, Let's keep going. Um, I see some technical questions around half tones, and I'm going to have to get back to you there, Johnny. I appreciate the question, but let me uh, let me get accurate answers, and I'll come back to you on those uh, in our YouTube comments. Appreciate you commenting in. All right, about 15 minutes left, and I have uh, about seven more garments I'd like to get through and one I'd like to press. So buckle up. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit. All right, sticking with our uh, reflective and municipality market, uh, safety vests are something we see. Uh, in a lot of markets, not only for municipalities, but right now grocery and restaurants uh, where you have a lot of curbside pickup happening, uh, safety is becoming paramount. 
The reason I wanted to show you this one is it's because it works in daytime or nighttime. You could certainly put reflective here, uh, but if you use a black reflective or a black material, we're gonna get uh, good daytime visibility while still meeting the safety requirements because I have the visibility that's built into the vest. When you're pressing something like this, you wanna make sure you drape the uh, strips off of the side of the press, uh, raising this print area up so you don't impact these uh, 3M reflective strips uh, with a mark, but certainly, an opportunity here. And again, you can get these vests from Sanmar and a variety of other uh, blank wholesale suppliers. Uh, comfy is always a big deal, right? And so I don't see uh, Sherpa going anywhere right now. Uh, people are going to be home. They're going to want to be comfortable. And so we've, we've shown this several times in different ways, but um, Sherpa, this one's from, I think, Boxercraft. Yeah, Boxercraft, J America does one, Sanmar does one. They all have their style of this Sherpa. It's almost like feels like the uh, wool of a sheep. Um, this is decorated, which I want to focus on, with a product called Cad Prince Permatwill. Try that again. I'm pushing away my cart that's on wheels here. So Cad Prince Permatwill. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's an actual tackle twill fabric. Okay, you can see a little bit of the texture uh, to it and the lines in it. So it's a polyester-based twill that we sublimate for you. So basically you get, it's almost like a patch. It's pre-sublimated with whatever design you upload over at stalls.com and you get this and you can heat apply this. So this is a great product for decorating these because it kind of like covers um, all of the pile of the uh, Sherpa fabric and, and lays nicely. Whereas when you do some other processes, um, whether that's embroidery or regular heat transfer vinyl, you get the fibers coming up and it kind of looks um, just not as high quality uh, as it could be. So this is a really cool product. And again, we can make this for you. All you need to do is heat apply it. If you're concerned about your Sherpa fabric uh, being damaged uh, by the heat, which is a valid concern, you can always heat apply it from underneath using our uh, heated lower platens if you have a compatible machine or if you've invested in our new 360 IQ hat press, it's another great way to do some of these dimensional logos, uh, small prints uh, on that hat press, even though it's actually a shirt. Um, also, uh, this is from Pennant Sportswear. Um, this is uh, style 5670. Uh, this has just some nice, almost like a towel or terry cloth type texture to it. So I wanted you to see that shirt, uh, very comfortable and uh, resorts. So we still see resorts having people come in. So gift shops at resorts and different opportunities there. And um, I also love our flock material. So this is uh, polyester. I'm sorry, it's not polyester. This is a flock um, that has a uh, fiber to it. And so it feels soft. It doesn't uh, feel like uh, vinyl at all, even though some vinyl is super soft. You get that sort of um, velvet like feel is the best way I can explain it that kind of matches the comfort level of the fabric. So think about that. Think of those as a couple markets. And uh, I'm waiting on a launch date, but we have a really cool product that's coming out. I'm going to say no more than 60 days. That's like, best way I can say it's not flock and it's not vinyl and it's somewhere in between. Um, and so wait for that. I can't wait to show you guys that one. That should be coming out, uh, hopefully, so we can hit the winter season with it, uh, perhaps even pick up some of fall. So we'll keep you posted there. So you get, the, you get the teasers if you stick deep into the broadcast with me. All right, this is another cool one um, that I think could be really popular right now. Hey, we're doing a lot of Zoom calls, video calls, businesses are doing them. So you're seeing me from the waist up, um, something like that. And this product's pretty cool. So call it instant messaging, right? It's heat transfer vinyl, uh, but it's our chalkboard uh, product. And so the black layer that's applied there can actually be written on. And you can just buy it. It only comes in one color. It's the, the black chalkboard color. It can be written, written on with chalk. So it's a great way um, for people to express themselves, whether that's in the context of a, a business call or even a school call uh, or school call going to school, uh, something like that, or a kid inside of a virtual classroom where you can see them. Because I know a lot of um, virtual classrooms are synchronous learning where you can see the kids live and the teachers instructing live. So I think that's a kind of a fun concept um, on how you're feeling today or your saying of the day or your uh, message for the day. And so uh, that's called Chalkboard. I encourage you to try that one out. It's a pretty neat product if you haven't tried it before. It's very easy to use. Yes. A mystery material. Can't wait, Patrice. Thanks for joining us today. All right. Um, 
going to show you two more and then we're going to heat apply something to conclude. Uh, this is more traditional market, but uh, we're still seeing uh, some good sales in glitter. Uh, it sh it's slowed down a, a bit with the spirit market, I think, tailing off a, a bit right now. But uh, this is glitter mixed with our uh, leopard foil with adhesive. So the, point, the thing I wanted to point out here is the animal prints, uh, pattern materials. We're still seeing those do uh, quite well. And so mentioned plaid earlier, uh, heading into the holiday season, holiday colors, um, Halloween, you should be thinking about now glow in the dark uh, coming up uh, as an opportunity. Certainly the animal prints are popular. Um, I think we're good here. I'll just show you these looks. I don't have much to say about them. Here's another foil example. If you wanted to see that, this one's done with the screen printed transfer adhesive, which is a product from Transfer Express. You don't need to cut and weed. You just buy the screen printed transfer foil and heat apply it down. And then I meant to show you this one earlier when we did the cancer concept, but think um, outside of the t-shirt, uh, being able to do higher end items, even if they're not playing sports, uh, coming up with things that the sports team can endorse or wear to support uh, awareness and uh, raise money for, for different causes uh, with different events. All right. So we're gonna do uh, one more look. And if you guys know, I have like an internal struggle with my two favorite, three favorite products lately. Um, you guys know I love Ultra Weed, right? That's our new one. I've buried my transfer here. I love Ultra Weed and I love Ultra Color. Those are probably my two favorite products right now. And of course, from an equipment side, um, this A to Z heat press, as well as the 360 IQ and everything you can do with that, which um, I hear we may hit a pretty big launch on September uh, 2nd or late next week that we can maybe cover with you Thursday the 3rd um, that will work well, uh, a patch-based product for the 360 IQ. But Ultra Color Soft, boom, that's the one I want to show you. And so we, we uh, designed a new gang sheet. Jenna actually designed this, so she'll have some videos coming out to hit our channel that will feature some looks and concepts from this sheet. Um, but... I wanted to hold it up and explain it a little bit more in depth. So we mentioned earlier about whether you're printing uh, face covers. We've showed this a lot for face covers and small logos, but this is the digital screen printed transfer, which means I can group up designs with as many colors as I want um, all onto one sheet and they can be independent designs. As we see here, I have five designs that are designed for like the female demographic. Um, if I had a, an Etsy store uh, selling to the children's market or the female market and doing uh, print on demand. And so I love this. We're incorporating patterns. Patterns are new into our easy view designer. You can design with them there, uh, many colors. And I found in talking with people and maybe some of you are watching that run Etsy stores, they have a pretty good awareness for sublimation. Um, and they're, they're merchandising a lot of like white polyester uh, shirts or polyester that feels like cotton, uh, but they don't realize that they can do full color prints on uh, dark fabrics um, or on uh, fabrics that contain more cotton. So with Ultra Color Soft, you can do these full color prints. And so I just wanna press one of these for you. I think we'll do the Good Vibes one. I'm just gonna trim it apart. So ultra color, when you're buying it by the full sheet, this is an 11 and a half by 18 inch sheet. You can get as little as five sheets. The sheets do have to have the same images on them, but as little as five sheets. Or if you don't have um, enough to fill a sheet, you can actually buy uh, just the print itself. We sell it by the image and you, uh, the minimum there is uh, 20 images. Um, so you can't gang up different designs by the image. But, the, uh, but you can order 20 images, even really small images, if you're just doing left chest logos or hats or whatever it may be. And this is another product that's great for um, headwear. So I, am, I forgot to turn my heat press down. So I'm at uh, 360 degrees. For any of you that ever worked with Ultra Color, you know that's way too hot. This product can actually ply down at 275 degrees. Uh, when I am going to cotton, I like it more in the 300 range for about 12 to 15 seconds. Um, we only have seven minutes together, so I'm going to press my luck and hey, we'll see if it sticks um, at these settings. I'm going to go on to, um, this is like a, uh, it's a Bella Canvas garment. Um, it's a hoodie, 52% cotton, 48% uh, poly, and it's a, a crop top. So it has a little bit of style to it for um, maybe some juniors wear or something like that. So I'm going to split and load that on so I can get a flat printing surface.
it may scorch with that uh, amount of polyester in it when I'm up at 350 degrees, but again, we're short on time, so I'm going to give it a try. So I'm just going to preheat very briefly since it's so hot. I'll take my design. We have a little bit of like tonal prints going on here and a pattern uh, within it, which is really cool. Uh, the good vibes design, I'll position that onto my shirt. And again, it's print to order. This good vibes could be merchandised across a navy t-shirt, a black t-shirt, this peach color, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to press it when I get the order. Now, Ultra Color Soft is one of those transfers because of the static buildup in the clear carrier that could stick to the heater. And so for that reason, we like to use a cover sheet. It does come with its own cover sheet that you can use. Um, in this case, I'm using craft paper and I'm gonna put it on 12 seconds and let's go ahead and lock it down. It's a medium to a firm pressure. Yeah, somebody says I did use this on a black shirt. It was so soft, I'll be using it again. It, that's the cool thing about the Ultra Color Soft. It has such a uh, nice feel uh, on the garment when it's complete. It's almost a siliconized feel. It has just a really nice supple uh, feel to it that moves with the garment, not paperish or crunchy. Um, as you see some of the transfer styles that are out there. Now, a couple of the trade-offs to get that feel. That feel is proprietary to our formula. We've worked really hard to get that in our development of this, but that means we have to peel it cold with the way we've built the transfer. Would we love it to peel hot? Yes, but we can't get that feel. Um, currently with the hot peel, we're on the endless pursuit of that, of course, but we just take it off of our heat press and cool it down. I know uh, people that are doing a lot of this keep a cookie sheet or something cold by the heat press or they run an extra airline if they're using an air machine and spray it with compressed air to cool it down right on the press but either way must be completely cold um, room temperature i should say uh, before you peel it don't try to cheat on this one or you will have uh, issues uh, right now ultra color is not good for um, dye migration. While because it presses at 275, you can do the majority of standard polyesters and not experience bleeding. Um, I certainly wouldn't recommend this for a sublimated polyester. Uh, it will bleed. However, we are still working and have invested a ton in equipment to bring a dye blocking version of this to you, as well as a high stretch version. Um, those will be called ultra color stretch and ultra color stretch with dye block. I hesitate to talk about them because with COVID and everything, it's been so long to bring them out, but just know that that, that plan didn't go away. We are going to release those products. All right, and uh, yeah, the if you go to the product page on the website, um, you can get instructions for how to apply um, all of these. So let's see, are we good enough here? I think so. So you're gonna, after it's applied, you're gonna peel it. All right, let's remove it corner to corner. I recommend a 45 degree peel um, and you'll get really good contact there. Um, if you're having issues uh, peeling it for whatever reason, cold, a couple things may have happened. You didn't let it cool down enough. Um, two is if uh, sometimes on cotton, it tends to be a little more difficult to release. That's why it's better to run it a little hotter for a little longer time and you'll get better adhesion. Uh, take a little while to cool down, but you'll get a better peel as well. Um, usually you won't experience any issues on polyester. Now, one thing I do want to point out, just because I like to be upfront with everything, is you do have a little bit, just a little bit of a clear outline on that, barely visible when you're heat applying to uh, light to mid colors. On black, you're going to see it just a little bit. And so a lot of folks um, have shared that they like to just put it back onto the heat press when they're decorating dark fabrics. Not a requirement, but gives you a little better design look uh, in your completed thing. They like to throw it back onto the heat press with a cover sheet for sure, and just hit it again for an extra five seconds or so. And that helps to take that clear outline that sometimes wants to lift and look a little milky on your completed result. And it just like blends it into the garment really nice to where it looks just like a uh, slightly different than the color of the garment to give you a completed look. So think about that. This feels great. Um, this ultra color product, I mean, the growth on it is is frankly amazing to me. Uh, it's doing better than even I expected it would be. And I, I do, I did predict it would be one of our, that would be our top selling screen print transfer formula within three years. Um, it's going really quickly um, towards that because people just love the look and the feel, the larger sheet size, how they can group up designs and not worry about the number of uh, colors. So this is not made of vinyl um, at all. 
It's a digital process combined with a screen print process, um, uh, proprietary components to it, uh, but it's not like print cut vinyl at all. Uh, it's completely unique. You can do better detail and you can also save a lot of money when you get up into quantity uh, of pieces. So what a day, right? We're about uh, 20 seconds out of an hour here um, with our Thursday broadcast. I want to thank you all for attending. Um, I know we have some folks that are not on today uh, because of everything that's going on uh, in the country. So I want to specifically uh, share our thoughts and prayers with those of you that are um, experiencing some of those trials, whether that's in our cities around the country, uh, certainly uh, in the path of the hurricane uh, that hit last night and continues to impact uh, the state of Louisiana and Texas and perhaps beyond. Uh, just know that uh, we're thinking of you all if you're watching this after the fact and can't wait uh, to you guys can get back with us and hopefully uh, you're staying safe uh, and your businesses uh, are safe as well. We'll be here to help you uh, when you return. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great uh, rest of the day uh, and great rest of the week. Take care.